They fumbled it. And uh, Kansas, how about Kansas coming on strong? Started the season one and five. They've won four of their last five. Three straight wins against ranked opponents for the first time since 1968. Iowa State, BYU, and now Colorado. And the Jayhawks feeling pretty darn good about themselves playing spoiler here late in the season. All right, back here with former Penn State and UMass tight end Adam Brenneman and Colorado, look, had the chance, right? They controlled their own destiny in the Big 12. Now they need some help to reach the Big 12 title game. What's your reaction to the way they played on this day? Because they gave up 331 on the ground. Yeah, Colorado has all the flash in the world, yep. all the playmakers, but when it gets cold in November and Arrowhead, they run the ball for 42 yards. And that, that is not a winning formula for how you win in the Big 12. On top of that, as you said, Akeem, they, they gave up 331 yards on the ground to Kansas. Devin Neal ran for over 200 yards. I mean, Colorado in this game, on top of that, ran the ball 13 times. Of those 13 rushing attempts, nine of them were to their running backs. That is nine handoffs in this game. I don't care who you are. That is not the formula for how you win at Arrowhead Stadium when it's cold in November. Kansas just flat out wanted this game more than Colorado. They were desperate at four and six to get to give themselves a chance to make a bowl game. And Kansas played much more physical and much more dominant than Colorado did today. It was as if they got off to a slow start, right? They, they were they were in the hole early, and, and they had to climb back, and they just did not have enough horsepower. And you've got Travis Hunter. He, you saw him on the sideline throwing me the ball. They finally get him the ball, but they had no answer to stop Devin Neal. I mean, this kid had an absolute monster day. Four total touchdowns, 287 total yards. you got to stop that guy. Yeah, really sometimes the best defense for Kansas is keeping Colorado's offense off the field. That's what they did. They said, we're going to run the football, chew up the time of possession. I mean, Colorado had the ball for 19 minutes in this game. That's how you defeat Shadur Sanders. He's that good that you just keep him off the field completely. I thought Devin Neal's performance was really the story of this game. He, he showed elite vision. Uh, he broke some tackles. He played physical, ran the ball inside the tackles and outside the tackles. Devin Neal played like the best running back in the Big 12, and that is the reason Kansas won this game. You look at Kansas, and what can you say about this team? It started 1-5. and five. They won four of their last five, including three straight ranked wins. What can you say about Lance Leipold's group? Uh, Lance Leipold's one of the best head coaches in the country, and he has shown it. The ability to overcome some adversity. I mean, things did not go well for Kansas to start this season. They lost games, consecutive games in a row. They could not control anything on offense or defense. But to come out in their three biggest games of the year and get three wins in a row against ranked opponents really ruined some of these seasons, too. You think about how, how the playoff picture is shaping out. They, they have really been the spoiler in the Big 12. And I think Lance Leipold gets a ton of credit for what he has built at Kansas. It has not been easy. The resources at Kansas weren't there. But he's built that program into a winner and this season in a down year still had some really big highlights yeah what, what a year for them uh, as the season has gone on again one in five to winning four of their last five including three wins against ranked teams which is absolutely impressive so now they're wrecking the playoff picture for not only BYU last week but for Colorado as well and it makes it super murky here for Colorado in the Big 12 I'll lay it out for Colorado to get to the Big 12 title game here they need to beat Oklahoma State and then one of the two happenings here. There's, there's kind of three. They need a Houston win at BYU or both Arizona and Kansas State to win next week. Arizona plays Arizona State. Arizona State just beat BYU today and Kansas State has to beat Iowa State. Iowa State plays later tonight against Utah. Um, it doesn't look, <laughs> I, I'm just laying out all the facts. Well, it doesn't happen. look great for Colorado, a three loss team um, to get to the Big 12 title game here. So it looks like they're going to be on the outside looking in at the playoff picture. Yeah, I think the good news for Colorado, for Kansas, for whoever, is that the Big 12 this year, and I think moving forward, is a one-bid league. Style points don't matter anymore. you got to win the Big 12 championship to make the college football playoff. That's Colorado's path. They have to win the Big 12 championship. If there's any good news for Colorado after this game, it's that Schroeder Sanders played really well in this one. I mean, he threw for 266 yards, three touchdowns, played like the quarterback – one in the future in the NFL draft. So I think that's still the bright side for Colorado. They got to go win next week and they need some things to happen. But if Colorado can make the Big 12 title game, they, they certainly have a chance to win it and, and make the college football playoff. Were you surprised uh, Shadur Sanders didn't get ejected in that spot? Like, because that was that was a little bit. Of, it wasn't just a little bump in. Yeah. It was a little shove. It was yeah. clear. And I look, I, I mean, we see it here again. And he's frustrated getting trampled on earlier in the game. Uh, he got absolutely crushed on a late hit. 
and you see it right there. Like that's that's a forearm. I'm not saying a forearm to, shiver, to but a referee. again, that's that's a that's a <laughs> yeah. shove. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't at least get a penalty there or ejected out of the game. Shadur Sanders needs to start playing and acting like a quarterback one in the draft. Everyone's watching what he's yeah. doing now. Every GM in the country is watching Shadur Sanders. And Shadur Sanders, you are talented. You have everything you could possibly want from a talent and skill standpoint. It is time to stop doing those things that aren't going to help you become a QB1. Don't help your team win. Everyone's watching it. And if he wants to be the first quarterback taken in the draft, those kind of things can't happen. That's not what a leader of a franchise does. Yeah, those are the kind of things that uh, get you docked. Yeah. That you, you end up going like, <laughs> did, did he have anybody show up to his birthday party kind of stuff? <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, but he does set a single season program record. But Colorado gets absolutely crushed as they go to the home of Patrick Mahomes. And Kansas just walks all over him. 520 total yards of offense. They didn't punt in this game. Shadur Sanders, hey, it's a nice record. 30 passing touchdowns, the most in a single season in Colorado history. They'll play in a bowl game, but it's not going to be in a college football playoff game unless they can get some help here at the end of the season to try to fight their way into the Big 12 championship.